Ladies and gentlemen, in this redgamingtech.com video, I'm going to be taking a look at the strategy space simulation, FTL, also known as Faster Than Light, developed and published by Subset Games. It's available on Steam, among other places, and on Steam will cost you seven great British pounds, and is also available with the soundtrack for £9.98. So, anyway, let's just jump into it. First things first, I'm going to include a little bit of tutorial at the start. If it starts to be really long, I'll cut the tutorial and jump straight into the game itself. Deal? Okay, great. Now, we're going to look at the options first. There are not that many. <laughs> um, graphics options basically allow you to do stretch, uh, full screen but with borders and windowed mode. So, I'm going to be playing full screen stretched just because, really. I'm going to jump, as I've said previously, into the tutorial. As I've said before, if it does drag on, I will skip it. So anyway, welcome to FTL. You are the captain, woohoo, of a Federation Starship Enterprise. Uh, no, not really. On a very important mission, the Federation is currently being torn apart by vicious rebels. Damn those rebels. Rebel scum. Your ship is carrying data vital to the defence of the Federation. You are travelling through dangerous sectors of the galaxy with a rebel fleet in hot pursuit. Make it to the next beacon, exit of beacon of each sector before the rebels can catch you. Okay, your ship, the Kestrel, is the focus of the typical game view. Sounds good. Okay, click. The circular icons at the bottom of the screen are your ship's primary systems. That would be these little puppies, I'm assuming. We have shields. Uh, what else do we have? Engines, okay. Oxygen, well, that's probably a good thing considering we're in space. And finally, mud bay, okay. And also this, reactor. Okay, so that seems tied. React systems use power from the reactor pointed at by the arrow. There is a system subsystems, unlike systems that do not require power from the reactors. These are piloting, requires crew, okay. Sensors, fair enough. And finally, doors. Hmm, I wonder what the doors will be for. Maybe for damage sections, you can seal that off, that kind of thing. Unlike systems, they do not require power. However, hover your mouse over the system to get more information. I've done that already. Each system's corresponding room will light up. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, so we can just quickly find out where the med bay is, for example. That's quite nice. Makes sense. I do wish you could do the reverse though and mouse over it there. Uh, maybe there's a specific reason why not, but we'll find out. Engines charge the FTL, baby. Ah, spool up the FTL. Really reminds me of BSG. God, I miss BSG. The hull meter. Shield levels and current structure, current resources, I'm sorry, in the top left appears I can't speak today for some reason or another. If your hull meter is reduced by zero, your ship will explode. That, that, that kind of makes sense, I suppose. Not pleasant, but it makes sense. We should get going, but it looks like your engines are currently powered down. Green system boxes are powered, white system boxes are unpowered, and proving no benefit to the Kestrel. Okay, so can we just click on them? Okay, one simply clicks on them, it appears. We'll transfer power from the reactor to the engines. Let's just do that again. Okay, I can't untick. Try to keep your vital systems fully powered. Right click, oh, okay. Oh, I see. So, in other words, let's say, for example, we're under all of these, which is probably a bad thing. Okay, we can't actually power that up yet. Anyway. Oh no, your engine room took two damage. Its systems have become red to show that it is broken. Who the hell shot me? Anywho, your hull meter has also taken two damage, which is... I actually missed where the hell the hold meter is if I'm honest with you. Ah, oh, there we are, that big ass box. Anyway, it looks like a super beater from Street Fighter Alpha. Anywho, uh, your hull meter has also taken two damage. Your crew cannot repair the hull, but they can fix the engines. Okay, so how do they repair the hull? That's the question. Select your crew members using left click. I'm assuming this would be them, Elizabeth. And Jill. Okay. I'm gonna go with X move because X move sounds cool. 
right click on the room to send them there. Try sending your crew members to the engine room, okay? Engine's not looking good. Go. Go, Xmu. Am I missing something? Okay. Why aren't you sending them there? Und ah, it's paused. Let's see. Automatically repair systems, fight fires, fix breaches, and fight intruders. Fighting low oxygen and fires will hurt the crew, okay? Makes sense. Okay, it looks like engines are being repaired, albeit slowly, but they're no longer on fire, so that's a plus. His ass needs to hurry up. While I'm waiting, I may as well grab some water. I love how it does it just as I'm literally about to drink. Okay. Engines now fully repaired. Notice that repaired systems will automatically try to repower themselves to the last powered state. Okay, that makes sense. Mama crew members, small bonus to the systems. Crew members automatically man any functions that are in their room. The silver above the power bars show if the systems are manned. Okay, that makes sense. Oh no, a fire has broken out in your starboard airlock. You should send a crew, you could send a crew member to put it out or they take advantage of the airlock. Left click on airlock doors by clicking on it. Okay. Rooms turn pink as the oxygen drains out. Your oxygen system will slowly refill the ship once the leak's sorted out, okay? Let's probably close the airlock, that's just a theory I have. Uh, now the engines are fixed and the fires are out, we should FTL jump to the next location. Jumping requires a crew member to be piloting the system. Each jump consumes one fuel. Without fuel, you'll be stranded and unable to jump. That would be a bad thing, I'd assume. Current scrap total, okay. This is the beacon map. A ship marks your current location. Okay, that's that I'm assuming. Um, hover your mouse over a location to get more information about it. Let's go for this, an unvisited location. Unvisited location, unvisited location, unvisited location, and you guessed it. Left click on a connecting node to travel there. Okay, so we can't just go here. We have to go to one of these. Which one shall we go with? Let's go closer to the center of the galaxy. I don't know why, but still. Pew! Right, FTL is loaded, baby. Okay, we're now back into full thing. We'll have an event like this. You may have multiple choices available to you at any at an event. As an example, a weak pirate ship is trying to destroy you. Continue. Blue choice like these are unlocked by having certain upgrades equipment. They're nearly always a good choice. Welcome to combat! Mwahaha. You can use the spacebar to pause the game at any time to strategize, give commands, or reallocate power. Use spacebar to pause the game now. You need to power up the weapons to fight. The amount of power required is pitched below the weapons box. Marked below. Lift click on power. Powered weapon turns white. Right click to power a weapon. Okay. Let's activate that then. Lift click on power weapon to arm it. Then target a room in the enemy ship by left clicking on it. Uh, Okay, let's see. So that is shield, which is the S symbol. So let's target their shield. I think that's a pretty good point. Uh, I'm trying to click on it, but apparently it doesn't want to. Power weapon to arm it. Oh, I see. Aha! Well, I've not in charge. Make sure the game is unforced. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm gonna laser you, my friend. This, I think. There we go. 
There we go, I'm lasering him now. Yeah, it's not fun, is it, when someone's lasering you? Shoot him again, shoot him again, shoot him again. There we go, pew pew and so forth. Pew pew and so forth. I'm gonna depower the FTL, we don't really need that. Don't really know if it makes any difference, but might as well. Die, damn it. Die! If you're given a missile launcher, shoot it. Expend your missile reserves, but missiles pierce through enemy shields. Use the shields to damage enemy shield systems and then laser. Okay. Okay. Uh, I want to blow up his shields generator. Okay. View. And miss. Wow. He missed. There we go! He got blowed up, that's much better. Uh, let's take out... Let's take out his... pilot thing. He doesn't need to run away. Let's pew pew that. There we go! He's broken up, nice. A salvage gained some scrap and a weapon. Halberd beam, 100 scrap. You can click on to replace one. Okay, seems reasonable. Oops, your system power. Not enough to upgrade. This is the upgrade screen. You can see it, blah, 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 blah. The reactor at the bottom of the menu, which is important for keeping everything running. Okay, I'm assuming that's right. Now power your weapon. You might need to power down your other weapon or to turn enough power. Excellent. Final tip, you can rearrange your weapons in the toolbar by clicking and dragging. Okay. Makes sense. In order to do systems damage. Okay, that's all the bit good luck out there. Okay, that was actually quick quite a quick tutorial. About ten minutes. So, we should be good for the full game. So far, my impressions are probably what yours are. It looks quite interesting, but it's not terribly graphically interesting in terms of, you know, aesthetically. But that's just, well, you know, what you'd expect. Okay, so we have a few things here. Can't click on anything yet. Oh, you can rename the Kestrel. Normal, easy, but see the difference. Increased scrap rewards and easier enemy generation. Standard. Okay. So far, that looks about what we've got. So I say Hicks here. Okay. For those who carry vital, tip iron weapons, depower. Unlock a system for a time. If they hit an enemy's shields, they deal stun damage directly to the shield systems. Okay. I keep... I know this is a really weird question, thing to say, but I really keep trying to 
like zoom out it's like just something automatically um, music on this game is quite pleasant we have a few crew members apparently so I'm gonna jump okay I'm here as you can see um, last time on Dragon Ball Z I went kind of closest to the galaxy center now I don't know what the blue are Ah, I see. Okay, that makes sense. I'm thinking, rather than doing that, I'm thinking about doing this. I don't... Actually, maybe one, two, three, one. Yeah, I'm guessing you won't be able to do that jump. I'm guessing it'll be like that instead. So I'm going to try the bottom one. I don't know why, but just because, really. Seems good a plan as any. Okay. Sympathizers contact you. We know if your mission should be a secret, so we don't ask to know about. Take this schematic, it's all we can do. Tell that was a pretty good option. We got some scrap as well. Anti drone, anti ship beam drone. Okay, excellent. Ship. Uh, okay, we can power up the reactor and so forth. I do have a little bit of scrap, not enough to buy anything, however. Uh. I'm just going to quickly mouse over these just to see what they do. <laughs> Humans are common and uninteresting. Sad face! Okay, I think we've got a general understanding. Uh... I'm here, a distress beacon. Huh, <sighs> by someone might need help. It also could mean that someone's getting ravaged, and so I'll get ravaged. Let's try it, square it. I will be brave, I tell ye. You follow a distress beacon on a small asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. They message you, help, our shields are down, and I don't know how much longer. Don't risk our ship, leave them to their fate. Hmm. Dark side corruption is tempting. I'd much rather pew them. I have a feeling this option, however, will get me goodies. Ah, excellent. Jump, okay. Uh, an unvisited location. We could go up there. Uh, I'm gonna stay. I think at the bottom path has not been doing me too poorly. I want a battle, however. Looks like I could get my wish. You arrive near a damaged and dilapidated space station. It appears to be abandoned, but you take faint light signatures. Hmm. I do like the decision making aspect, I must say. I could get the survivors. If they join my crew, that would be very good. However, scrap the debris. Okay. So it looks like that was just a decision. You can't do both. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, we can go up here or we can go there. It looks like my choices are limited. Now, this does mean as well, in case you're unaware, that you could also continuously play this game and choose different starship systems and of course when you did that you would have different play styles and different options ah uh, we are in danger Okay, we're going to need oxygen. I'm going to down power these. Uh, I'm also going to take the medibay offline. Not going to take the bloody shields offline, however. I'm going to activate my laser of doom. Um, okay. Now, I want to take their shields out. I don't know, actually, 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 I've got a better idea. I don't know what that symbol is, I'll be honest. 
I'll take out their weapon systems as target, baby. Pew, 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 and so forth. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, that hurt like a bitch. Oxygen. Okay, I'm going to have to get someone to repair that, obviously. Go. There we go. Uh, let's fire that at their weapons again. There we go, just to make sure. And I'm also going to target that. Actually, let's target... Actually, we can't target both. Let's ignore both. Okay. Let's activate that and target that. Excellent! He's done. <laughs> I know it sounds odd, considering the graphics, but it's actually quite satisfying. It does remind me of some of the old space games that I used to play back in the old days, like the, the, the early 80s, uh, sorry, late 80s, 90s, when I was really young. Um, I remember a couple of the old Spectrum games and so on. Obviously, they didn't have as good graphics as this, but still. Anyway, it's quite satisfying. Uh, we do have some drones, we have some fuel, and we also have some scrap. I'm very happy about the scrap. I'm also going to send another crew member to try and fight this fire. Assuming we can, it looks like we should be able to. Oh no, never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Now, this dude's getting quite pillaged. I'm going to enable the medi systems. I'm going to tell this dude to go to the medical bay. Engines. Engines have been damaged. Ouch. Bollocks to that. All of you heal it. Whew. Right. As they say. Oh, shit, son. Oh. Well, okay. I didn't expect that. Sad face! Sad face, really? I think that kind of, uh, pretty much, oh, I see, so we've basically started, okay, fair enough, uh, how long have I been playing, okay, I'm gonna choose a different set of options this time, um, uh, I'm gonna go to, ah, oh, actually, reported merchant location, okay, let's go to the merchant, the only other ship is at the beacon and showing a heavy damage. You receive a message. Greetings, traveller. We were crippled by pirates and our forced to... Uh... Can I not laser them? I don't have any cash, unfortunately. So it looks like scrap is basically for everything. Hmm... Okay, I'd much not love to upgrade. I'm gonna have to. This place doesn't uh, do much for me, so I'm gonna have to basically vamos. I'm gonna go back here. Give him fuel. Hmm. I don't know if that was a good decision upon my part. Uh, let's go to... Can we go to this one? Yep, we can. Okay. A missile shoots across your bow when the jump completes. The scan quickly reveals a ship with a pirate mark and is pursuing an unknown vessel. The pirate hails you, damn it. We won't expect to come out of this and you could profit. Oh, sweet. Okay. Sweet. I'll take that. But, you know. Oh, you can't pew them afterwards. Can you pew them? No pew? 
I cannot pew them. Damn it, I wanted to be a traitor. I wanted to betray, damn it. Okay, I can't betray them, as far as I can understand, anyway. There might be a way of betraying them, but as far as I can see, I can't. Damn it. Anyway, alright. Uh, okay, I'm here. Actually, before we do that, let's go to the ship. Um, subsystems. My floating dead. I'm going to... Hmm. I really need 30 scrap. I'm going to power this up. And now I need another 30 scrap. I'm going to accept that. And I'm going to jump. And I'm going to jump to a distress. It's, be it's better to explore, I say. You're probably going to die. You arrive. Hmm. It's obvious you get goodies from either. I want to destroy and loot. Ah, oh, that's not bad. Uh, okay. Let's go all the way to the top this time. I don't know why. Danger, that's not good. I'm going to make another jump for it. You've been boarded, bollocks. Come on, come on, come on team, go team, or something. Target this one dude, can you target one dude? Yeah, now cheat, yeah. Yeah, now heal. Not you, you're fine, go heal that. Excellent. And I'll go heal that if you need to heal it. Excellent. Shields I do not want damaged. I'm going to leave someone always powering up the shields. That looks like weapons to me. Similarly, I'm always going to have someone powering up weapons as well. Hmm. Ship. Let's have a look. I really want to power up my shields again. I want to be able to withstand a few hits. However, oh wait, actually, let me just check something. I'm sorry. Does it take more energy? It doesn't seem like it does, actually, funnily enough. Fair enough. So, anywho, uh, let's go with jump again. I'm here. Uh, someone needs help. Well, I figure we might as well have a little peek. Don't message it, leave them to their fate. They message you, help us, our shields are down. I don't know how much longer we can last. Ah, bollocks. At least not an iron scrap, however. Uh, my thing really got battered. Okay. I can, however, power up my shields, which I think is a good option. Um... I've now got another shield bar. However, I'm almost positive. I'm just going to quickly check something. One bar. Ship. If I power that down, just out of curiosity, that's a lot of difference. Partially powered. If I activate... Ah. So, because it's so much power, I see. That's interesting. It 
So in other words, I can actually even power up... I don't know what that was. Engines. Oh, I see. Ah, okay. So... I can activate all of this. For the sake of my weapon systems. At the moment, it's a massive balancing act. Okay, I can respect that. I like that a lot. So far, I'm really enjoying it, actually. I like the balancing act. Um, you can see the shields and everything else are perfectly balanced. So, yeah, you can power up one aspect of it, but if your reactor's not man enough for the job, if you will, well, there you have it. Now, I'm here. I'm going to exit. I'm going to just run for it. I think that's best. Okay. When the FTL... Jump to that sector. Jump. I'm confused. Oh, I see. Civilian hostile nebula. Do we want to go for civilian? Okay, I can't actually choose it for some reason. Oh, I see. You have to actually go this way. I was actually thought you had to click here. I'm sorry. Uh, there's an absolute shit ton of enemies that way. There's probably a lot of goodies, however. I'm going to go this way, however. I'll take the cowardly approach. Figure that's best. Okay. Awesome. Okay, I'm here. There's a stress call here, and there's a stall here. And I go here. Quickly figure out what we need to do. I wonder if there's a karma system. Search for the ship. Ouch. Huh. Is there any way you can repair? That's what I want to know. Ah, I see. I had to do that as much as I didn't want to. Uh, my current hull was getting actually battered. I really would love to save up for that. I mean, you can see the difference uh, that would make. Anyway, let's jump. Um, I'm here. Nothing left of interest. Hmm. Let's go there. Okay, we've got danger apparently. A pirate ship is lying in wait. Turn and fight. Okay, we've only got one option here. So first thing we need to do is pause it. I'm going to disable the... Not the shields for a start. Let's power those down. I'm going to power that down. I'm going to power up weapon systems, baby. Right, now, you and I both know the shields are that. Now I'm going to target those shields because those shields offend me. Oh, that hurt. Okay. Oh, that, that sucked. Come on, my dudes in there, quickly. Keep pounding that thing. Yeah, your shields are done now. Let's take out your weapons, my friend. Oh dear. I'm just going to pause it a second so I want to check on what I'm doing. You're considerably more well armed than I thought. We surrender. Accept the offer. We get tons of missiles, loads of scrap. We don't accept surrender. That's what I say. Blow them up. Actually, I did a lot of shit here with... 
Should have took the surrender. I would have got more goodies, but still. I don't take surrender. This is the, I don't know, this is the Royal Navy, bitch, or the Royal Space Navy, and you are my, not my prisoners. So, anywho. Uh, ow. Shield's actually getting ravaged by these little meteorites. That is not good. Okay, I've got to spit up the engines, as they would say. Not enough power. Down, power down the bloody weapons. Okay, you know what? I've got to power up this bloody reactor at some point. Unavailable ship is in danger. Can we... Okay, for some reason I can't actually... Oh, that's probably because... Yeah. Okay, the only problem with taking off the engines is, well, as you can see, I have to wait for the bloody charge. Actually, I should be able to power this on. Just to make sure this dude... Let's actually heal. Miss, sweet. Okay, let's jump. Let's get the hell out of here. Ooh, couldn't actually happen at a quicker time. We've been there. Let's go there. Abandoned space station circles on Lonely Planet. A quick check. Ah! I'll take that. Ship. Crew equipment. Powerful drones that continually... Okay, we can't activate that. Okay, you know what? I'm going to power up this reactor because this reactor just sucks balls at the moment. That extra bar will really help. Okay. Um, there's a stress beacon there. I figure that's a good place to go. Helper shields. I don't know how much longer. Hmm. Last time I got burnt, but I'm just going to leave them alone. That probably would have given me, you know, missile launchers and nuclear weapons as well, but never mind. Okay, trade. Fuel 8, missiles minus 3. Hmm. I don't actually know how many missiles I have, to be fair. Uh... Oh well, never mind. I'll just keep what I've got. I look. Uh, I actually have got f ten missiles. Ooh, I should have done that. I could well get stranded here. Let's hope for the best. Hell yes. Oh dear. Burst laser. Uh, activate and shoot. Let's go with shields. Oh, okay. That's not good. Let's power down the engines. Oh, okay. I'm getting ravaged. Ow. Okay, your shields aren't much better, my good friend. Okay, shields are slowly powering up. Ow. Actually, you know what? Bollocks to it. Have a missile. Oh. Just kidding on that whole missile thing, by the way. Ugh, dear. Um, oxygen is getting destroyed. Okay, go repair that oxygen. You in here... Ooh, that ain't good. Blow up, god damn it. Okay, this is actually quite difficult. Uh, oxygen is repairing. Okay, they are definitely repairing that. that ain't good.
For some reason I can't activate my laser, which is not good. Come on, dudes. Two misses, really? Oh, I'm so screwed. Oh, shield's just about soldiering it. There you go. Let's heal that. Okay, I'm dead. Well, that was pretty terrible. I think it looks like a good place to call it. <laughs> I've discovered that, um, yeah, I don't have the makings of a starship captain. Nevertheless, this has been a fairly fun one, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed it and kind of got an idea whether it's a good game or not. I have a feeling when you kind of get a better idea of the decision-making process and how the upgrade system works and you know what priority to put on things, you do a hell of a lot better. Nevertheless, um, anyway, this has been a fun one. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Yeah, if you could rate, subscribe, perhaps, you know, give hugs, that would be great. Bye for now.